Well, good morning, everybody. After my excellent visit with Scott Goodman yesterday down at Headlands Handmade, I want to show you up close what it is that uh, he created for me. Let's start with the wallet, the Minimalist Cash Fold. Um, it's a it's a blue chromexel, and you can pretty much see the color here. That's that's pretty accurate. Um, brown thread. It's I'll go over some of the details here because this stuff I really didn't know before yesterday. Uh, the edges are a hand burnished edge. And it's very interesting the way he does this. I, I never would have suspected it was done the way he did it, but it's, it's a very easy thing to do. And it creates a very finished looking edge, just a little bit shiny. Um, but there's a couple of processes that go into that hand burnishing. So it's a very it's a very finished edge. Now the inside, and why I really liked the uh, this wallet is I've never seen a wallet this design before. Um, it's the so it's called a minimalist cash fold, and I'll put some uh, stuff in it here in just a minute. But he's got his logo stamped right there, Headlands Handmade, and this image here, Scott explains it in the video from yesterday what this is about and the history of this basically this is a guy throwing uh, hides off of the cliff in Dana Point down to the ships below waiting to transport those hides uh, back east now the years I'm not exactly sure of but uh, Scott kind of goes into that too in the video but really really nice work um, the edges are also beveled you can see here that the edges have been all kind of angled down at a bevel. So that's beveled and that's beveled and this is beveled. So I saw, after I talked to Scott yesterday on camera, I spent about another hour there and he showed me uh, how you do some of this stuff. Really interesting uh, to, see a, to see a guy that really knows what he's doing, doing this. But let's stick some uh, cash and cards in there. And uh, I'll show you the fit because it's really kind of interesting the way this works. So this is the cash fold side right here. And you take your cash. And I got six bills here. And you slide it. Watch me fumble my way all the way through this, of course. The cash goes in like this. So basically there's the cash behind this thing here. And it folds down like that. So you've got a pretty, you know, it fits, it fits really nice, doesn't hang out, but let's put some cards in it. Now I am not carrying six cards uh, at this point. I'm pretty much down to about four cards, but I am going to put the six cards in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to like the results or not, but then I'm going to put four cards in it and show you that. So... There's six cards and six bills. So let's close this. So there you go. Six cards and six bills. A little thicker than I like it. Uh, I would take out a couple of cards because I'll show you why in a second that let me take out a card from each level here. So now we got two cards on this top level and two cards underneath. So that's the way it looks. Um, so now See, that's much better. That, that is much more acceptable for this um, nice of a quality of a wallet. And I believe, where's my initials? There they are. He even stamped my initials right in the front. Very cool. And I, I was even pretty amazed how, how he did this. It's, it's, not, it's not done how I expected it would be done. But this is the Minimalist Cash Fold from Headlands Handmade. Um, I will put the link down in the description box. But let me show you the second piece that he made and and why. See, I, I, as you know, I, I've been carrying two wallets quite a bit now just because I have so many nice wallets. And that way I can spread out the, uh, the cards. But what he did make me, and I believe this is on his website also, um, and I'm not sure right this second what the name of it is, but it's basically a card holder. And he had the basic 
leather cut out. But what he did yesterday was he burnished the edges and he sewed it. And after the interview yesterday, um, I, I really saw how he did the burnishing, how he sewed it. Um, it was very, it was very interesting how how he did it. He does it. He does a much, much quicker than I did it, and it's a much, much neater job. As you can see, the sewing is really just you know right there. So it's very nice, and he's got his he's got his. Uh, Headland's handmade imprint down here on the back. But the sewing is just excellent. Saddle stitch, burnished edges, beveled edges. But what this does is, if I put a couple of cards in here, so there's two cards, and I got a couple more cards here. Let me put four cards in it, four of the plastic cards. Now, I've been carrying a, a couple of IDs and a couple of business cards in this. But here's four plastic cards. So let's say you got extra cards and you're a bit uh, a bit obsessive like I am and you don't want you don't want the wallet to be too thick. So four cards, very nice chromexal leather again. And this is what you get. Let me see if I can focus those edges because the edges are really nicely done. That is just not going to focus, is it? The edges are really nicely done. The edges are beveled once again, and he's got a great little tool for beveling edges. Um, there we go. Let's see if I can bring that in. It's going to work. Going to work. I don't know. Yeah, almost. Anyway, this is the card holder, and like I say, I believe this is for sale. I, I, I don't I don't recall it on the website, but you know it's it's probably there. Um, but these are the two items that I got from Scott at Headlands Handmade yesterday. Uh, great visit with him. If you haven't had a chance, take a look at the video. And uh, in the end, I gotta say one more time, if you're interested in any of the wallets that I have reviewed. Go to the link up, up, up in my YouTube banner. Click on that and you'll see what I have for sale at the present time. Anyway, that is the overview of the two items from Headlands Handmade in Dana Point. Thanks for watching.